we continue our championship cases with Ryan Blaney. Ryan Blaney, no wins on the 2019 season, but he is going to a track that he won at last year, the Roval, this week. So he's got a good opportunity there. And we're going to talk about all the opportunities he has at the other playoff tracks and how he could make it to the championship four and win the championship. So obviously Blaney, uh, as I said earlier, no wins on the season, but his teammates do have some wins. Logano has a couple wins on the season. Keselowski has three wins on the season. So it's not like he's at such a disadvantage. He has tied his career high in top fives for a season with still eight races remaining. Um, he's got a pole on the year, some top tens, and he's led some laps this year. He's had a few good runs this year, but he has yet to, found, to find victory lane. So he's going to have to do that in order to advance to make it through these rounds currently he is on the playoff bubble i think he's only a couple points to the good or to the bad it's close i know that uh, i know that much so we'll figure that out but as for his chances this week at the roval obviously a big opportunity the defending winner um he is eight points above the bubble according to my sources also known as nascar.com but he is a few points over the bubble, so that's good for him. But we have seen what happened at the Roval last year when someone had an eight-point cushion. Jimmy Johnson spun himself out. But um, I expect him to advance. I expect him to run well, get some stage points. But finding speed for that car is something they need to do. Uh, they've had speed at spots. They had speed at Texas before their mechanical failure at Phoenix, um, Bristol, so they've had speed this year. It's just a matter of putting a race together and winning a race. So if they can do that, get a couple wins just to advance themselves, they're pretty far behind on playoff points. So I think they're going to need a win to advance through these rounds. This next round, they will be at a disadvantage with playoff points. So they will need to gain some of those with a win or just outpointing people, just having really solid runs. Looking at that round of 12, their best shot, Penske has had a pretty good super speedway car, but I know now that it's a different. So it'll be interesting to see. He's got Everyone's got a shot at Talladega, obviously, but I think Kansas is another really good opportunity. He's run well there in the past, uh, some top five runs, leading laps there. So I think Kansas and Talladega, he's got a pretty good shot at winning there. And then if, let's say he does win, the, win one of those races, advances to the round of eight, I think he's actually got a couple of big shots there. Martinsville, maybe he's had some good runs there in the past. Uh, so winning a stage, finishing, I think he finished top five this year there. So good run there. He's got the potential to do well there. Obviously, his teammate dominated the spring race, so they do have the speed to win at that track. Team Penske does. And the other two, I think he's got a good shot at winning any of the round of eight if he can get there. Texas, he's ran well at historically. Uh, 2017, he won the first two stages, I believe. He didn't get a top 10 due to the fact just some strategy, some miscues on pit road. But he had a really good car that day, one of the best cars. I think he led the most laps in the 2017 spring race. And then last year in the fall race, he won the pole, I believe. And he finished second to Kevin Harvick. And Kevin Harvick's car was illegal. So if this was last year or this year's rule book, Ryan Blaney would have won Texas this last year. So he, he's also had some really fast cars there. As I said in the spring, he was running really well before a mechanical failure. Um, another really good run he's had at a mile and a half, similar to Texas, was Charlotte earlier this year. He had a top five car, uh, had a tire going down or something late, ended up finishing like 15th or something. So a rough, rough break there. He's going to have some better luck as well. Just uh, the mechanical failure at Texas, the tire issue at Charlotte. Some of these runs that he's had, they've just ended with bad luck when he's had really good cars or really good track positions. So he's just going to have a little bit of luck on his side. As for Phoenix... He finished third in spring, so he had some good luck there. I believe he started on pole. Um, but as I said, that round of eight, I think he's got a really good opportunity at winning at any of those tracks. Martinsville, uh, he's run, he ran well there this spring. Texas, he was running well before the mechanical problem and has a good history there. And then Phoenix, he had a very good run in the spring. So if they can bring some speed to those tracks and get it up front, and they are still in the playoffs, I would not be surprised to see them win any of those races. As for Homestead, it's going to be tough if they're going up against a Martin Truex Jr., a Kyle Busch, Denny Hamlin, or his two other teammates, Kevin Harvick. That's going to be tough for them because they don't have the speed to compete with them. But let's say he's the only Penske car to make it to the championship four. 
I think the other two teams will definitely be helping out a little bit more on Blaney's car, and we have seen both of the other Penske cars go to victory lane at mile and a half. Uh, Keselowski won at Kansas and Atlanta, and then Legato won at Las Vegas. So it is very, very possible, and they are very capable of winning at a mile and a half racetrack. So I could definitely see that happening. And it's a long shot, I'll admit. I don't think they're going to have the speed of a Truex, a Kyle Busch, a Denny Hamlin, a Kevin Harvick. So I think they're going to have to get a little bit of luck, some track position maybe, some strategy calls. It's possible. It's a long shot. They obviously got to get out of the Roval. But to advance through these rounds, I think they're going to need a win. I don't think they can point their way in. They're a little bit too much of a disadvantage. I don't think they can outrun the guys like Chase Elliott, um, Kurt Busch, the way Ryan Newman's been running recently. I think they can outrun him, but it's Ryan Newman's making it look tough. You have one bad race. I mean, Talladega's in there, so it'll be interesting to see how it all plays out. But it'll be fun. Uh, if Ryan Blaney can win the championship, that would be an underdog story. And that would, I think it'd make some people upset just because of the system. And a guy who ran about 10th in points all season ends up finishing or winning the championship. So that'll be interesting to see how fans react to that. But we're going to continue on later today. I think we have Eric Almarola or William Byron. I can't remember which one, but that'll be fun to see. Uh, thank you for watching. If you want to keep on watching the series, go to the playlist. Go watch them all. Go watch all 11 or 12 that I've done so far. Uh, like this video and subscribe.